Everyone wants to bask in the glory of the 12-foot Home Depot skeleton. He might be a washed relic from 2020, but I don't care. I care about the Home Depot 12-foot skeleton more than 75% of things in my life. The Home Depot 12-foot skeleton is more than just a skeleton. It's a movement, a lifestyle, a cult, an icon that all the other hardware department stores want to take with no success. There's the 12-foot Scarecrow, the 12-foot Bone Collector, and there's also a 12-foot skeleton at Menards. But it is literally the worst thing I have ever seen. I'm sparing you for now. It's insane. Subscribe to Gag Nutties. The 12-foot Home Depot skeleton has so much aura, and I think that comes from it not being related to anything else. You get the 12-foot Home Depot skeleton box, and you read the manual, and there's no lore in it. There's no lore needed. He's a 12-foot skeleton. He is what is inside of your body, hooking out, strode about, rode up, and cast with stainless steel. Now you go over to Lowe's and look at something like the Bone Collector. I mean, what is this guy? He's the Bone Collector? Some kind of cheeky joke that he's gonna take the 12-foot Home Depot skeleton. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, is he a ghost? Is he the Grim Reaper? This is what I mean. I mean, I shouldn't have to crack open a lore book to understand a Halloween decoration. The 12-foot scare Scarecrow as well. They made him a scarecrow just as just as an excuse to just drape clothes over him and not give him an actual skeleton. What we're all craving is a skeleton. He has no hands. It's just a. Hey, he's holding a scythe? He has a witch hat? I just can't get down with this. And the rib cage is fake. I've seen this in real life. It's just like a little foam pad that they have hanging. You can move it around. No structural integrity at all. The Lowe's collection does make up for it with the skeleton band. They are actually super cool, but also note here that they're cloaked. Lack of skeleton. They cheaped out on the skeleton part. All they got are hands and a skull. And this isn't even the worst of it. Home Depot is at the top of the list. Lowe's is like B tier and Menards. Menards is F tier. Menards has the worst Halloween decorations imaginable. This is like the best, like this is the thing that got on par with the Home Depot skeleton quality. And it's seven foot, seven foot. It throws into question that ever since I've heard about the 12 foot Home Depot skeleton, I've been rating Halloween products based on how tall they are. And I'm looking for things 12 foot and over. Seven foot is pushing it ever since the 12 12-foot Home Depot skeleton, the taller your Halloween animatronic, the better. And Menards just doesn't even try. The seven-foot pumpkin hollow, again. What is this? I'm gonna need to read the lore book. Matt Pat, come fill me in. What is this? He only stands at seven foot, not even worth taking a glance at. $266, $300. That's the same as a 12-foot giant-sized skelly. Perfectly anatomical. Oh my god. Look at those thighs. Ah. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting flustered. I'm getting flustered. Okay, Menards does have a 12-foot animatronic, but they do not advertise it online. Not at all. They don't want you to see how pitiful this is. It's a 12-foot, like, Grim Reaper skeleton. But listen to this. It's not a skeleton. It's just the head. Just the head. And you thought that the foam ribcage on the low scarecrow was bad? This is literally a t-shirt printed on ribcage for this animatronic. I mean, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Then I got curious. Does it have legs? Where are the arms? All I see are the hands. So then I take my phone and I slip it underneath and it's completely hollow. They're selling a blanket for $300. If you're gonna have a, ha a Halloween decoration, keep them naked. Look at how much aura is emanating off of this 12 foot skeleton. Look at those eyes. Look at the anatomical accuracy of it. Every piece of this, you can't hide it. You can't hide the detail behind some claw. It's, it's beautiful. Wow, I wish we can get more things like the Home Depot 12 foot skeleton. It's had its heyday in 2020 and I think it's kind of fallen off now and I hope to see a resurgence and I am going to buy one as soon as I become financially stable. But even even Home Depot, like they've, they've lost the plot here. I love that it's 12.5 foot, but like the Inferno Deadwood skeleton, crack open the lore book, everybody. The Inferno Deadwood skeleton comes from the incinerated trees of Alberta and it reaches and it reaches and kills the children who've sworn off candy and it has three DWIs. Like, I don't need to hear about this. I just need to know that you are a skeleton. I love the Home Depot 12 foot skeleton. Lewis, Lewis is okay too. His funny voice line really helps him out. My name is Lewis. 
and I like that he's just a pumpkin with a Grim Reaper outfit. This is bottom of the barrel stuff, but at least it's like not creating any weird lore. Like it's just Lewis. That's so based. Just like the 12 foot Home Depot skeleton is so based, it's just a skeleton. No lore, nothing. Even though he's only eight foot, being, I mean being eight foot really loses a lot of points here. I give Lewis an A tier. Lewis is A tier. Haunted living 12 foot talking LED bone collector animatronic. That guy is D tier. This is awful. Scarecrow, the Scarecrow kind of lives on its own like the skeleton. No cleat, no like other worldly scenes here, but the foam ribcage, it takes some, it takes away from it. But this guy doesn't have any bones. No bones, but he does have hands. Okay, all right, C and B. Scarecrow is B, bone collector, C, pumpkin hollow F tier. Whatever the skeleton thing is called that I saw at Menards today, F tier. Menards, I'm never shopping at Menards. I'm never going to Menards again. The 12 foot Home Depot skeleton, S tier. That is the best. And 12.5 foot giant size in front of Deadwood skeleton. That's, it's still got all of its appendages. Cutting no cost here. A tier. Now they're reaching with the 13 foot giant sized LED Jack skeleton here. But it's 13 foot. It's gotta be A tier. Nothing's touching the skeleton in S tier. S stands for skeleton. S stands for skelly. A, just cause, I mean, I, I don't like that it's like, Disney and just pop culture, but it's 13 foot and that carries it to the finish line. I just moved into my new place and it's very echoey, echoey in here. I needed to demonstrate how good the 12 foot Home Depot skeleton is and how sad I am that four years out I don't have one and I'm gonna have to live with that. Subscribe to Gag Buddies. Let's see if anything of this is worth using now, <laughs> shall we?